Hi guys, today's project is going to be an electric car. Got a comment from Yvonne Patawaran. Wants me to do another electric car. It's a nice sunny day actually outside. I'd rather do a solar powered car, so I think I might do both. I might do an electric car, but I'll keep the solar panel so I can see if I can make it run in the sun as well. So, for the electric motor, I'm going to take it out of this solar butterfly, butterfly, butterfly stick ornament, which will also have a solar panel, so I'll save that. I'm going to need some barbecue skewers, or bamboo skewers as they call them. I need some CDs, these have already got the plastic bottle top stuck to them, so I'll use these. That'll save me a few minutes. I'm going to use a polystyrene pizza tray. I'll explain that later. For the chassis, I'm going to use this pop bottle. I need my hot glue gun. I need soldering iron to connect up the motor. Although you could probably just twist the wires. Some cutters, some dividers, utility knife, wire strippers, and steel ruler. And that should probably be all the bits. To power the electric motor, I intend to use one of these button cells. Oh, and I'm thinking of covering the wheels with this sticky back plastic as well. First thing, got to get the motor out of here. Right, the electric motor's in there, and the solar panel's on the front. And there's actually a couple of screws underneath the panel that hold the motor in place, so I'm going to have to take the panel off. The easiest way I've found of getting that panel out is actually to break the backing plastic. So there we go, that's the two screws I want to get to. There's the motor. Four screws on the back. I could take the cover off and push the motor out because it's inside there, or I could just cut that plastic cover off and leave the motor in the mounting, because I'm thinking of gluing it straight on the outside of the car anyway. Right, to drive the wheels I'm going to make one of the wheels into a great big pulley. So I'm going to cut a disc from the polystyrene pizza tray. Okay, there's the disc. To glue that on there. Right, there's the cardboard disc. Let's go on there. We need some holes for the axles to go through. And on this bottle there's a seam that goes along there and another one on the other side. So that will be handy for aligning the axles. If we drill one hole right at the back here, because there's a line goes round there. And the same there. And at the front there's no convenient line going round, so I have to use my ruler.
So with a bit of luck the car might go straight. I can either drill holes or just push them through with something sharp. I might use my soldering iron because that's switched on at the moment and that'll be convenient just to burn some holes through. Okay, there we are, nice loose fits. Got all the wheels in position. This is our pulley. So the motor is going to be glued straight on the side of the bottle there, or more or less there. Before I do that, I'll join a couple of rubber bands together to go round the pulley. And then I'll adjust the position of that before I glue it to make sure I've got the right sort of tension. All up together. I've actually put this peg on the end of the wire with the wires wrapped around either side so that now makes contact with the button cell. And I've cut a hole in the top of the bottle so I can drop, drop the battery inside out the way. Test run time. battery the right way round. I think that works. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a plastic pop bottle, got four CDs for wheels, milk bottle tops for the hubs, barbecue skewers for the axles. The electric motor has come out of a solar butterfly stick ornament is what it's called. Um, I've extended the wires from it onto this peg. The peg's got the wires wrapped around the inside so it makes contact with this button cell. Uh, back axle or the back wheel, I've put a polystyrene disc on it so that's now a big pulley so the gearing is very small well, just the shaft at the front to a big pulley at the back so it means a low power motor can turn a big wheel easily. And that's it. That was for Yvonne Patawaran. Sorry if I don't get your name right, but uh, there you go. You wanted an electric car. I shall probably go on and see if I can convert this one to solar power just to see if it can run it with a single solar cell.